Hi, my name is Colleen. I'm from Samson YMCA. I'm the Healthy Living Coordinator for um, Active and Any Age classes. So I'm here today to give you a couple exercises. And what you're going to need is you could use some handheld weights. If you have them. If you don't, you can use um, something that's uh, that you have two of that are, adds a little bit of weight to it that you can hold in your hands. Or you can. Um, I'm going to ask you to get a kid's ball that has just a little bit of give to it so that you can squeeze it. But if you don't have that, you can use a towel. What you'll want to do is you'll want to roll the towel up. And to keep it together, you're going to put a rubber band over it. Unless you're from Pittsburgh, you're going to put a gum band over it. And then you can use that instead of the ball. And I'll show you that as we go along. You start marching right and left. We want to have our muscles nice and warm before we start to do any of that, any workout. So let me get you warmed up. March wide. March center. March wide. And center. Warming up the hips. One more time wide. And center. Deep breath, both hands. Just let your hands shake down. Deep breath. This time, flick your fingers like there's no paper towels in the bathroom. Get the blood all the way at the fingertips. That's good stuff. March wide. And center. One more time, march wide. And center. Heels forward, right, left. Punch your arms forward. Cross your wrists. Every time you cross your wrists, switch the hand on top. You're now thinking with both sides of your brain at one time. Can you click your fingers? If you got gum, blow a bubble. Four, three, march, right, left. Deep breath with just your right hand. Shake it down. Can you click your left fingers? There's both sides of the brain again. Perfect. Let's do it on the other side. Deep breath. Left hand, shake it down. Click your left, right fingers. Get that blood flowing through the brain. Shoulder rolls. Elbows are bent. Just warm it up. Four more. Four, three. Lift and lower your shoulders. Can you round them forward? And open up your chest. Make room for your big hearts. March. Heels forward. Right foot full and hold. Hands are on your thighs or the back of the chair. Lean forward. That will support your back. And up. Tap your toe. Out and in. Make it big. Open all the way up at the hip. Four. Three. In the center, lift your toe up. Loosen up your calf muscles. Four more. Four. Three, fall the front forward, tap your heel. Bone density. It's the impact that builds the bone density. Out and in. How about slow? Faster. Party arms. Can you give me a woo woo? Come center, tap your heel. Lift your heel and hold. Pump your arms. Bend your knee. And up. Tap just your right toe. Can you add your left heel? You're now thinking with both sides of your brain. 
fourth, three, march, right, left. Four, three, heels forward. Left foot forward, hold. Hands are on your thighs or the back of the chair. For back support, lean forward. And up. Tap for two. Out and in. Make it big. Four, three, in the center. Lift your toe up. Calf muscles. Four more. Fall to the front floor. Tap your heel. Bones and Ankles, heels. If you feel the vibration up in the hip, all the way to the hip. Out and in. How about slow? Faster. Party arms. Give me a woo woo. Come center, tap your heel. Lift your heel and hold. Swivel your toe, pump your arms, bend your knee. And up. Tap just your left toe. Can you add your right heel? If you got it, give me a woo woo. Can you roll your wrist? How about two claps on four? One, two, three. One, two, three. Two more. Last one. Right hand scoop. Elbow the ceiling. Roll your wrist. This is for the terrible toe. Halfway down. Close the curtains. Rub each finger to your thumb. Roll just your thumb. Left hand. Elbow the ceiling. Roll your wrist. Halfway down. Close the curtains. Rub each finger to your thumb. Hold just your thumb. Open to the sides. Elbows are bent. Fingertips go to the floor. Roll your wrist all the way. Last time, deep breath. Hands come down. Let's get ready to move. upper body work with you. I'm going to use a ball today, but, but if you don't have a kid's ball, then that's just a little bit of gift to it. You can use a um, towel rolled up, uh, put a little rubber band around it. You can use that to stretch or to, to stretch with. So upper body work. We're going to do a little chest work today. I'm going to ask you to make sure your elbows are down so that your wrists are straight. And you're going to push the ball with your palms like this. Leap. I want you to squeeze the ball so hard you feel it here. This is chest work. We use our chest to push with. If we would need to push somebody away from us, we would use our chest. If we would need to push up off the ground, we would use our chest. If we need to push away from the dining room table, we'd use our chest. But if we would fall getting out of the bathtub, and we didn't have enough strength in our chest to push to get, to get our lower body underneath us. And you can't get up to get dressed. Guess who's going to find you new? The fireman. Four, three, two. How about three quick and a little lift? One, two, three, little lift. One, two, little lift. Four, three, to lift. Option to stand all the way up on this one. Okay? Squeeze. Two, three, and add a squat here on four. Two, three, add a squat. Two more. Last one. Know where your chair is and have a seat.
here to do some lower body work. And again, we're going to use either the ball with a little bit of give, or you can use a towel where you can put in between your thighs and squeeze your inner thighs, squeeze the towel with your inner thighs. I'm going to use the ball, but the towel works just as fine. We're going to ask you to come to the edge of your chair because this is going to be exciting. Place your ball between your thighs, and I want it away from your kneecaps. We would never want any piece of equipment resting on a joint. And now I'm going to ask you to come to the edge of the chair, lift your chest, and then squeeze the ball with your legs. Squeeze. Breathe. Inner thigh adductors. These are our core muscle. These recover us from a stumble. If we would fall out of our center of gravity, we would catch ourselves and then use our inner thighs to bring ourselves back center. So I'm going to ask you to squeeze so hard that you're going to squeeze your rear end together too. Okay. Lift. So then you've added your glutes and you've added your hamstrings there. Squeeze. Inner thighs. Four more. Four. Here's three. Two. Pulse three like this. One, two, three, and release. Again. One, two, three. Two more. One, two, three. Last one. One, two, three. How about tight, tight, or really tight? Tight, tighter, go to really tight, release. When you go to really tight, squeeze your rear end. Someone pinched you. Tight, tighter, really tight, tight, tighter, really tight. Two more. Tight, tight, really tight. Last one. Tight. Beautiful. That's your inner thighs. Now I'm going to ask you to take the ball, place it between the right leg of the chair and your right calf muscle. You're going to have to sit back for this. Flex your foot. Pull back with your leg. Pull, release. the same movement you would use to get out of a recliner, right? Go back with your legs. Hamstrings. Four, three, two. Can you hold for three? Hold, two, three. Release again. Hold, two. Don't hold your breath. Make sure you're breathing. Our muscles need to use that oxygen as we work out. Two more. Two. Beautiful. I'm going to ask you to take the ball. Place it to the other side, you might have to scoop. Again, you're going to have to sit back. Pull back with your legs. Pull, release, pull. Four, three, two. Pulse three. One, two, three. Release again. One, two, three. Two more like that. Two. Last one. Beautiful. Hold. Two. Three. Release. Hold. Two more. Hold. Two. Last one. Two. Release. You're going to grab the ball. You'll be option now to stand. You're going to take the ball with you. You're going to come and stand and move your chair. I want you close enough that you can use it if you need it for balance. And then you're going to put the ball back between your thighs. Again, away from the kneecaps, please. Shift your body weight into your left foot. Touch your right toe behind. Lift and lower your right heel. Up and down. Right? Left knee has a slight bend. So on the right leg, you're working the hamstring. Left side, you're working your ab abductor, ab abductor. It's in an isometric hold, keeping you uh, standing upright. And your inner thighs are holding the ball. That's your abductor. Four more. Four. Here's three. Two. Last one. You switch sides. Slight bend in that right knee. Lift and lower your left heel. Again, hamstrings, back of the leg. Abductor. Abductor inner thighs. Good stuff happening here. Four. Three. Two. Pulse three. Here we go. One, two, three. Touch the floor. One, two. One more.
work a little bit on balance. So I'm going to ask you, I'm going to come over to the right side of my chair. If you feel safe behind your chair, that's where I want you to stay. But I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a, one hand on the chair, slight bend in our knees. I'm going to ask you to lift and lower your heels. Here's eight, seven, six calf muscles, gastrocnemius because we're expanding. Four, here's three, two, now I'm going to ask you to hold on the balance for three. One, two, three, and lower. Five, six, seven. Hold for four. One, two, three, four. Lower. Two, three. Hold for five. One, two. Chairs right here if you need it. Lower. Hold for six. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, hold for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Singles, ready? Eight. We don't lose our sense of balance because we got older. We lose it because we don't practice it as we get older. Here's four, three, two, last one. 